Bacharach's greatest gift may have been knowing exactly what we needed to hear. The world needs love, sweet love. But as a kid, he had no dreams of becoming a musician. I remember playing a recital. I think I had to play Claire de Lune, and I blew it, and I flung. So did I think I had any talent? No. Still, his mother insisted on piano lessons in practice until one night she gave up. You want to stop? Stop. I've run out of patience. You know, it's your choice. But guilt over disappointing his mother took hold and ultimately helped propel Bacharach to more than 50 years of hits. That's what friends are for. Living in New York City, the young composer met Hal David, a lyricist who provided words to make his melodies soar. Don't make me over. Their discovery of a young Dionne Warwick took the duo to the top of the charts again and again. Soon, Hollywood was enchanted, and so was the actress who would become his second wife, Angie Dickinson. Raindrops are falling on my head, they keep falling. The score from Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid earned Bacharach an Oscar in 1970. And over the years, Hollywood kept calling. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Burt Bacharach. The world needs Music so iconic. How can I been remade across every genre, from 80s pop to samples of the hits popping up on hip hop. Uh, yeah, they call me logic, yeah, that's L-O-G-I-C. Bacharach spent his final years at home in California with his fourth wife, Jane Hansen. Mr. Burt Bacharach! Leaving behind an unforgettable catalog of music that will always remind us of its maestro. Dottie Schwartz, NBC News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.